Hello there, my name is Derek Curley. I'm the European Sales Manager for Berkeley Viratronics. We're here at the uh, MWC show in Barcelona and we've got a few brand new products that uh, we're introducing to the market here. It's been interesting to note that uh, in, in the past the European and the uh, US markets have been quite diverse in the way they've been approached from the industry and that in the past uh, year or so things have started to come together and we're able to use the uh, same products both in the US and the European markets. Perhaps I'd come on and actually show you some of the things that we're featuring here at the show. This is a brand new uh, detection system we have called the Wolfhound Pro, which is designed to work both in the European and in the US markets. It's aimed at uh, the correctional facilities, for example. Here we can see the same device which is set up for the US market. And what we're actually seeing on screen here is uh, all of the RF power from cellular phones which are transmitting within this hall, shall we say. It's giving us some indication of the frequency, it's giving us some indication of where they are, how far they are away from us. What is this used for? It's aimed at going out and looking for illegal cell phones within a prison, for example. This is a directional antenna which sits on the top here. Its whole setup has been to make it as easy to use as possible for the, shall we say, inexperienced operator to go out, find the phone, and be able to confiscate it. We also have other versions of this which are body-worn, for situations where it might not always be safe for the water to be seen to be actually measuring through the prison, for example. We've also just launched at this show a brand new receiving system called the Gazelle, which I'm showing here. This is a uh, modular four-channel system that can be used for measuring frequencies anywhere from 140 megahertz up to 5.9 gigahertz. This is our uh, introduction product here at the Mobile World Congress, the LTE Yellowfin Scanner. It's available in uh, two different bands that are very popular for the uh, service providers and carriers. It uh, is offered in 700 megahertz to 2.2 gigahertz, as well as a model that covers 2 gigahertz to 5.9 gigahertz, and it covers both TDD and FDD. And it's used for a drive study so they could build out the networks and uh, measure SINAR, or the signal strength, see if there's any uh, multipath effects, as well as doing spectrum analysis to see if there's any interferers. It's a software-defined radio that is truly portable, integrated GPS system on it as well, and uh, could be used for vehicular drive studies or even for in-building to measure the coverage of LTE networks as they're rapidly being deployed around the uh, globe. This is a, a dual-band stimulus transmitter that's used for setting up cell towers, simulating them, in which the transmitter is put up into a, a crane test, put two, three hundred feet up into the air, and you have two independent transmitters that you could transmit at the same time. They're wideband, they can uh, transmit 20 watts plus of output power, continuous wave, and we also have the option for uh, feeding in a modulated signal that you could transmit so you could truly simulate a base station. 